The Hollywood writers' strike continues. We are seeing its impacts right here in Atlanta, which will trickle to TV screens all over the world. Show writers for Netflix's Stranger Things say production on season five cannot continue until that strike ends. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bynford live from Assembly Atlanta tonight. And Chelsea, you spoke with a local cinematographer who is out of a job right now. That's right, he is. And normally he would film things on a set or a sound stage like the ones being built here at Assembly Atlanta. This is owned by our parent company, Gray Television. And while this place is still under construction, other facilities like this are closed across the country and sitting vacant during this strike. And it's all just sitting here until the strike ends. Dozens of cameras and lenses typically used on TV and film sets in Atlanta are sitting stagnant inside Otto Nemitz International in Norcross. Basically, we are on hold. The camera warehouse typically makes money by renting equipment out for productions like Jumanji, Dynasty, and MacGyver. But with the writer's strike in full swing, Otto Nemitz manager Pat Smart says there's virtually no one who needs their inventory. We were just getting ready to start a show. We had just received notice on Friday afternoon that it was going to be our show. And Friday evening, the news came out that the show had been stopped because of the writer's strike. Smart says he may have to reduce work hours for his staff, but others in the Atlanta entertainment industry are already out of a job. Many of us are basically just waiting it out. Paul Crumper is a local cinematographer who has nothing to shoot while productions are on pause. He says the strike is causing a trickle down effect. Many things that are, are connected to the industry as far economically. Things like local hotels and restaurants that won't benefit from a film crew being in town, police officers who won't be employed to patrol productions, and even people who work in the lumber industry, which won't be needed to build sets or props. Those are all people who need to eat, you know, pay for services, pay for their homes, take care of their kids and families. And the last major writer's strike happened back in 2007 and lasted 100 days before an agreement was reached. Reporting live from Assembly Atlanta tonight, Chelsea Bynford, Atlanta News First.